What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin', man? Good morning, happy Sunday. Uh, I'm about to get my day started, but I had to make this video, man. I had to. And rest in peace to JV McGee, 21 year old uh, guy from black man from Chicago, truck driver, just got his CDL and uh, I think it was June. So he was a new truck driver, young dude, man. And he got, he got on the live, he got hung in Henderson, North Carolina. And I have been there so many times. So this video really is to give advice to truck drivers, bro. Especially to my rookie truck drivers, to my new truck drivers. And, and also to people who just traveling in their car. A lot of people don't know. A lot of people don't know that I'm gonna be honest, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I've been driving for a minute. Most of America is sundown town. I don't care where you go, the West Coast, the East Coast, Northeast, uh, Northwest, South, Southeast, Southwest, it don't matter. Most of America is sundown towns. Most of America is sundown towns. So, and when you black, bro, I'm gonna tell you something. You're gonna know when you're in a sundown town. You're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it in your soul. You're gonna feel it in your bones. You're gonna feel it. And I'm gonna tell you something. Don't don't worry about if your time running out as a truck driver. If, if your time running out and you can't make it to a truck. Look, bro, make it to a truck stop. Go back to the interstate. Set your GPS back to the main interstate. Don't spend the night in a sundown town. When I go to sundown towns, and I ain't gonna cap, sometimes I do spend the night there, but I don't get out of my truck. I mean, always make sure you have food and water in your truck. Always make sure you have food and water in your truck. Don't be going to Walmart, bro. Because guess what? In, in a lot of these towns, these people make up their own rules. They said they got a video of him buying his, uh, uh, buying rope, buying a rope to hang yourself. Imagine that shit, bro. They got video, they said they got video of him buying his own rope. In most of these towns, they can come up with anything to say. They can make up anything because it's their rules. Most of America is sundown towns. I'm telling you this, most of America is sundown towns. Most of America. If they see you, they 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 pay attention to you. They watch everything you do if you black. I don't know how it is for my Mexicans and uh I don't know how it is for you guys, but when you black, I'm telling you, they watching you. They watching you and they know you not from there. They know you not from there. So in today's time, bro, don't don't park your truck in these sundown towns and go to Walmart. Don't do that, bro. Don't go get something to eat. You gotta be aware out here, bro. You gotta be aware, bro, because they're watching you. Sundown towns, they still exist, bro. They still exist. Those people don't want you buying stuff out of their town. They don't want you eating in their town. They don't care, bro. They have their own law. They have their own laws. They don't care about you uh, buying stuff in their town, bro. They don't care that you're a truck driver. They don't They don't care about that shit. They'll still unalive you. So forget about the time on your clock. In trucking, we call it personal convenience. Look, bro, set your stuff on personal convenience and go find you a truck stop on the main interstate. Go find you a rest area on the main interstate. Do not stay in these sundown towns. And if you have to stay, you know, for, for, uh, for some reason, look, bro, have your food, have you some water. Don't get out that truck, bro. Don't get out that truck. I know it's sad, but just don't get out that truck, bro. And pay attention. Sit in the front of your truck when you get off and just look around. Pay attention. Be alert. You got to think like them. You can't just be... You can't just be wondering like everything cool, everything not cool, bro. That's unfortunate, but everything not cool. And rest in peace to that young man, man, to Javion, 21 years old. Just I remember when I just got my CDL license. I was 24, 23, 24. Now I'm 34. 
and I'm always aware I hear, bro, I just stay in so many sundown towns and I just hate that feeling that you get, bro. Like you can't, you don't see no black people and you can just feel it in your spirit, bro. And it's everywhere. You cannot dodge it, bro. Most of America is sundown town. And if you're a truck driver, you know what I'm talking about. And if you travel the country, like just a regular person that travel the country, you know what I'm talking about, bro. Nine times out of ten for black people, bro, you have to stay on the main interstate, bro. You got to stay in the main cities. You can't just be wandering off and... Like when I was living on the West Coast, people telling me, like, go hiking. And, bro, I'm not going no damn hiking. And I'm not scared of the bears. I'm not scared of the fucking uh, snakes. You might run into somebody who don't like black people. And now y'all got to go at it. This country, bro... It's real, bro. People say racist, uh, racism is dead. Bro, that shit is not dead. It might be, they might can fool people in the media, but in real life, on these back roads, most of the towns in America, bro, racism is alive and well. It feels like 1965 out here, boy. It feels like 1950 out here when you really on this road. That's why you got to stay alert. You gotta get back home. And if you don't feel safe somewhere, stop following rules, bro. If you don't feel safe, turn that clock off and get to somewhere you feel safe at. That's your right. Stop. With these companies, bro, with DOT and all that, they not thinking about your safety, bro. You gotta think about your own safety out here. You gotta care about your safety. They don't care about your safety. They don't care. They just think about money, that's it. You gotta think about you when you out here on this road. And to my people that travel, to my people that travel, don't just be getting uh, gas from anywhere. Don't just be stopping and thinking you can eat at any restaurant. Don't do that shit. That'll be your last restaurant. You know how it is and when you go to California and like you got people in the hood, they just watching to see who um, who coming over here, who going to that restaurant so they can rob them or something. Bro, it's just like that. And don't let people fool you to think that it's only black people in this country that's causing chaos, bro. Trust me, you will be surprised. That's how people. That's how people make money on the internet. They want you to feel like, oh, it's black people doing this. Black people, black people, black people just doing everything, bro. It's not like that. Most of the white people are the majority in this country. When you travel, you'll know that. And I'm telling you, if you go into their towns, you'll see they on that BS too. They they lurking too. Oh, they'll rob you too. But they'll rob you of your life. They don't want your things. They'll rob you of your life. And then those same cops, they in on it too. The cops go tell whoever, the investigators, that you hung yourself, that you bought your own rope and hung yourself. A new truck driver, a young truck driver from Chicago bought his own rope from Walmart and hung himself. Think about that. That's what, that they all tied in together because you gotta understand. With these small towns, they all went to school together. They all grew up together. It's their own laws, bro. And they waiting to catch a black person. So stop thinking on this internet that it's just black people, black people, black people. Bro, most of this country is white people. And I dare you to go into their towns and, and, and you be black and thinking that you can just walk around, eat anywhere. Okay, they gonna show you. They gonna show you. So rest in peace to that young man, bro. And it's it's crazy, bro. That's why I hear, bro, I be so alert. And not just in trucking, just in life. You gotta be alert, man. You have to be alert. People don't care about you, you have to care about yourself. Now I know he was young, he probably wasn't thinking like that. He probably didn't even know about sundown towns. In Chicago, Illinois, you do the you do the history on Illinois with sundown towns, bro. It gets real. Matter of fact, they had a it, it was a uh, it was a book, I think called a green book or the blue book. I think called a green book. And it was for black people. It was with all the towns 
in America that are sundown towns. I think you can Google it now. So you can Google which towns to avoid in America, bro. A lot of people, a lot of people need to start doing that. Google who are those towns that you not supposed to go in, bro. Because a lot of people travel, a lot of people do on road trips, and you, you, you think it's sweet out here. It's not sweet out here, bro. You think the hood is the only place that's crazy. No, bro. Trust me. Trust me. It's not just the hood, dog. Actually, I'm going to keep it 100. You probably safer in the hood. You probably safer in the hood, around the hood. When you go to these other towns, majority of the towns in America, it's sundown. I hate to say it. You know, but I'm about to get my day started, man. Like I say, rest in peace to that young man. Uh, man, life is crazy, bro. You just never know. That's why you got to be alert. So I'm making this video just to keep the people, keep the young men, young women, new truck drivers. Because a lot of people starting to truck. A lot of people getting into trucking now. You know, so... Stay alert. Always keep some water and food in your truck. Always keep some water and food in your truck. Don't be trying to order food when you when you need sundown towns. You trying to get DoorDash, and but I'm telling you, you order a DoorDash and they scoping the scene out. They scoping you out. Oh, you spending the night? Okay. They gonna ask you questions. Oh, you spending the night here? Okay. And you stop being so nice to people that you don't know. You don't have to answer questions. When they ask you, oh, you spending the night? So, nah, I'm not spending the night. Because some people, bro, they got nothing to lose. They don't like black people. They don't. You know, so, hey, man, y'all enjoy y'all Sunday. Rest in peace to Javion McGee. Uh, I hate to see it, bro. And then I hate to see that they lied and say that he bought his own rope, dog. Telling you, bro, these small towns, they have their own law. They don't, they don't go by the same law of the country. They have their own law. They've been doing their own thing. Can't nobody tell them nothing, bro. They have their own law, you know. So, hey, man, y'all have a great Sunday. I'm out.